Hey, what's up guys? It's the best video gamer on the planet. Final Fantasy 15 comes out November 29th, so I decided to give you guys a recap, alright? Final Fantasy 1 is definitely the best one in this series. I mean, it's no surprise that the first one is the best one because it's the original. I mean, look at these graphics, you can't beat them. And, you know, Final Fantasy 1 was old school before it was cool, you know, before all the, these other games started copying it. You know, I mean, Final Fantasy 1 invented storytelling. Like, and I, I mean, you know, you play as a bunch of dudes who have no names, and I mean, obviously this game was inspired by Clint Eastwood. My only problem with this game is that you can't name any of your characters, but that's okay because at the end of the day, who doesn't want to beat up Satan, you know? It's the it's it's really good, it's really good, and at the end, there's an infinite time loop. Isn't that amazing? Final Fantasy 2 is definitely the worst one in the series. I mean, they let all that success go to their heads, and it's just terrible. I mean, you have to name your characters in this one. Like, that's so, that's so dumb. What do you do in this game? You don't do anything. You just beat stuff up, and it just, it, it sucks. Like, I really, you know, I don't like this top-down thing that they did. You know, they tried to make it an RTS. You know, like, it, like, that's not cool. That's not cool. It's just, it's not good. I don't like it. Bad. Very bad. Final Fantasy 3. After Final Fantasy 2's terrible reception, they decided to remake the game that started it all. They remade Final Fantasy 1, only they made all the characters children instead. You know, I give it a 3 out of 5. It's alright. Final Fantasy 4. Final Fantasy VI starts out with this, like, opera part, and I really love it. You know, they figured out how to articulate what an opera is like, you know, with 16-bit graphics. Like, they did a great job. Um, you play as Batman, Alfred, Wonder Woman, Catwoman, Martian Manhunter, and Marvin the Martian too. And basically you chase after Joker the whole game, but he wins in the end when he becomes a god. <laughs> You'll never defeat me, Batman. I'm all-powerful. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Final... Uh... They pulled out all the stops with Final Fantasy VII. It's amazing. They crammed in every single genre of video game for Final Fantasy VII. It's a first-person shooter. It's a horror survival game. It's got werewolves in it. It's a restaurant simulator. Ride a motorcycle. Um, you got boxing, you got sword fighting, it's every kind of game you could ever want. The best part is where you ride on the dolphin. I never thought a Final Fantasy game would include the ability to ride on a dolphin, but oh my god, it's just, this is the best moment in gaming history. If you disagree with me on Final Fantasy VII being, like, really good, then you don't know anything about video games. Final Fantasy- Alright guys, I'm about to play Final Fantasy VIII, and, uh, oh my god, this game was made for monkeys. You know what? Too slow. I can't play this. Terrible. Bad game. Final Fantasy IX. Speaking of monkeys, in this one you play as a monkey man. Final Fantasy IX is four discs long. The first disc ends once you get out of the castle, and then after that it's a three disc long boss battle against the Phantom Menace. The embodiment of George Lucas's greed and cruelty shows up in order to commit absolute judgment upon you. Stay out of the Final Fantasy universe, George Lucas. You have enough money. My Star Wars movies didn't rake enough cash because of poor reception, so I'm here to steal all the profits from Final Fantasy. Ya mind, baby. Probably my favorite thing about this game is your surprise summons. Every time you decide to summon, it's always going to be something different. Like, let's give it a go. <laughs> George Lucas, you've gone too far. Your greed knows no bounds. I'm here to stop you, you billionaire scum. You can't stop me, Bernie. I give Final Fantasy IX a 4 out of 5, it's just, oh my god, excellent. Final Fantasy X is just like Yu-Gi-Oh, only instead of card games, it's volleyball and it's underwater. You play as Justin Timberlake and the Beach Boys. Final Fantasy XI. You can take advantage of the situation and get to work. There's a terminal in front of the elevator, a node. Did you say nerd? Not nerd, node. 
Oh. Final Fantasy XII is actually a sequel to Final Fantasy IX and a sequel to Romeo and Juliet at the same time. You know, it's kind of like Star Wars if Shakespeare wrote it. It's got all the Shakespeare characters, and they're going to get their revenge. Final Fantasy XIII is, like, so boring. I mean, all you do is walk around this house and you get treasures occasionally. I'm not gonna lie, Final Fantasy XIII almost made me feel like video games are dumb and boring. Like, I really, I really didn't like Final Fantasy XIII. Final Fantasy XIV. We're missing footage here. When I saw the first trailer to Final Fantasy XV, I thought it was gonna be terrible. Look, Ripping off the ending of Greece, ripping off of Battlefield 4, ripping off of Final Fantasy 7. But you know what? I saw the most recent trailer and I changed my mind. It looks gorgeous. You have to play as a boy band on a quest to restore funk music to the planet. I just, I can't wait. They might as well call it Final Final Fantasy because it's just gonna be the best one ever.